Denise, thank you. The political turmoil in Egypt is growing tonight as protesters demand President Hosni Mubarak to step down. But tonight, the Egyptian government struck back by disrupting social media sites and cell phone communication. Violent protests across the streets of Egypt have spread like wildfire as the country braces for a massive new wave of anti-government demonstrations tomorrow. Elizabeth Palmer reports from Cairo. In Suez, about an hour east of the capital, furious mobs burned down government buildings. Just like the huge street protests that erupted in Iran in 2009, Egypt's uprising is a real movement that was born in a virtual world. Led by young, educated activists like Ahmed Salah, who understand the power of social networking. Millions of Egyptian youth live on Facebook. A call for action went out on Facebook, which initially reached more than a million people and was then amplified by a torrent of Twitter messages. Egypt uh, was, in one, was in more than one in every 200 tweets on Twitter. In the world. And all the tweets in the, in the world. It was Egypt's urban youth that led the protests earlier in the week, but demands for change will gain real traction only when the grassroots join in. The anger behind this uprising is about a lot of things. It's about freedom of expression and corruption and abuse. But above all, it's about unemployment and the price of food. It's skyrocketed in a country where almost half the population lives on less than $2 a day. Those Egyptians struggling to make ends meet are expected to take to the streets tomorrow. They'll be joined by Egypt's most famous opposition figure, Nobel Prize winner Mohamed el Baradai, who arrived in Cairo tonight and pledged to march tomorrow. So did the legions of Muslim Brotherhood supporters, Egypt's most powerful Islamist movement. Organizers hope tomorrow's demonstration will be so massive the police will have no choice but to stand back and let the people be heard. Elizabeth Palmer's Cairo. Also in North Africa, the government of Tunisia is cracking down on a prominent family who benefited from the rule of the country's ousted dictator. Today, Tunisian TV showed the arrest of 20 members of the Trabelsi family, all relatives of dictator Zain el Abidin Ben Ali. And they were paraded before cameras by the anti-terrorism squad at Tunis Airport. The arrest actually took place two weeks ago. The footage was released today to reassure skeptical citizens. Ben Ali was forced from power earlier this month amid a wave of protests over poverty and government corruption.